people unto himself. That's possessive. The black man is a possession unto God. The black man is chosen unto God. Right. You know? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all. It didn't say some. It said all people. My brother right here. What's your name, man? Come on, I like it, man. Come on, I like it, man. Today is your day, man. Come hear the word of God. Because this is the thing. Give me... Uh, uh, give me... Uh, number... Uh, 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 Ezekiel chapter 34, the last part. I want you to hear this. Because, what's your name again? What's your name? I'm Charlie L. It's nice to meet you, my brother. Right. Here's the thing. We are here for you first. Because the man, God says, he's the head of the house. Right. The right. man is the leader of the flock. Right. We as a nation cannot come together until you get your mind right. That's right. 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 When you decide that I'm going to serve God according to his word, right. I'm going to examine myself according to his word, that's when God is going to start dealing with you, man. Right. That's right. what you got. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 31. Right. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture. The flock of my pasture. We are the flock of God. The nation of Israel, the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, are the flock of God. Right. But who is the leader of his people? Great. Our men. Are who? Our men. So now, give me a second, Exodus 14, verse 13. Now, now understanding, the leader of his people are men. These men are required to live and be of a particular standard, man. I want you to listen to me, bro, because here's the question. We know that in history, prior to slavery, right. you went to school, right? Right. What did they teach us prior to 1492? What did they teach us? Well, what do you know about yourself before we were in slavery? What do you know? Teach, I don't know. I don't think I seen with the handshake. What, what was our what was our language? What was our food? What was our culture? And what, I want. what was our God? You know why we forgot I, this? Jeremiah 17 and 4. Because out. of slavery, my brother. Yeah. Because of slavery. We had shackles on our on our, on our necks and our in our ankles. You got a mother? Yeah, I got a mother. Let's make this person. You got children? Yeah, Let's make this person. I'm your oppressor. I'm the white man. Guess what? God has put me over you to afflict you. Right. I see your daughter. She looks good. I'm going to rape your daughter. I see your mother. She looks good. I'm going to rape your mother. This is what we were once in, in slavery. And now you think that this same man is going to teach you about God? Right. Hell no. God forbid, my brother. Read. Right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Right. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. I want you to come over here real quick. What's, I'm sorry, real quick. What's your name again? I'm Buckshot Home. Buck, Buckshot Beauty. Buck, how you say it? Pronounce it? Buckshot Beauty. Buck, Buckshot. 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 Okay, all right, Buckshot. Now watch this. Yeah, it said we would discontinue from our heritage. Yeah. Why would God say that his people would discontinue from their heritage? Why, did, why is that? Why do you think so? Do you think that a people of such great nation would, would deserve to go into slavery? Have you ever questioned that? How do we get here? Why do we have to go to our nations to, for a birth certificate? To get food? Why do we have to do that? Why don't we create our own communities? Guess what? You know about Tulsa, Oklahoma? Uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, they got bombed out, out in Oklahoma and West. Went to church, wasn't it? Yeah, no, 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 that was Birmingham. Listen, Birmingham. listen the white man is in great atrocities against our people. Right. We, can, we can go on and on on the list. Yeah. We cannot, we as a people, when we have tried to come together, we had our own hospitals, we had our own doctor's offices, we had our own grocery stores, right. we had our own farms, we had our own public housing. We had everything. Guess what the white man said? You niggas ain't that good. Not in my land. What's your question? So what is uh? So what is so what is that? So what is y'all go as as a as a as a as a, as a unit for the same belief? Like, okay, I hear what you're saying. Okay, in, in this right here, I know all about this. Right. Um, I'm 42 years old. I've been I've been at this. I know about this, but what I'm saying is right here. What is y'all go as for? Once you accomplish what you accomplish, is your, is your, is your, is your vision 
to accomplish your own and just have your own, your own. Okay, I like that. I like that. Is, is that is that is that your is that your pay seek trying to get you? Or? Give me uh, Luke chapter nineteen twenty two about the hedges and highways. This is our first mission. I want to let you know why we're first out here. We're out here to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans their true nationality. That's where it starts. Because if I ask you, my, my brother Ryan, what's your, what's your nationality? Baptist. You say Baptist, okay. What, let me ask you, what's your nationality? Uh, shit, man. Baptist, now are you saying because he said that? Yeah. John, give me John 7 and 16, because this is the point. We're out here to reveal to you and give you the proper understanding according to the Bible of how to get salvation, right. how to rule your household, how to love your brother, how to keep the Sabbath, how to get yourself right and go teach your people. That's right. How to understand that, you know what, I'm not a black man. I'm a God on this earth. That's right. I'm not African American. I'm an Israelite from one of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's, right. Right. That's our mission. Our mission is to rise the, 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 the decay estate of our people, man. You got drugs in our community, crack cocaine, heroin, meth, molly, Show weed. Right. We have all these Look that right. we are into. But you know what? We love our sin. What you got? Read. The book of John, chapter 7, verse 16. Right. Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. He, listen, this, this, the, brother, the brother asked a question. He said, why are we out here? Are you out here for your own good or for your own reasoning? We're going to ask him, thus said the Lord. Read it from the top of 10. I want you to listen closely, my brother. Read. John 7, verse 16. Jesus answered them and said, my doctrine is not mine. Our doctrine that we're teaching, this is not ours. This is the Heavenly Father's. The Heavenly Father said, Buckshot is going to hear the word today. Right. Buckshot will be mocked. Buckshot will hear this word and he will have to choose the he this day whether you're going to serve God or you're going to serve Satan. Are you going to live righteously or you will live ungodly? Right. That's your question for yourself today. Are you going to repent or are you going to keep God's law? Read. But his that sent me, if any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He said, any man that do his will, he gonna know the doctrine. What's that doctrine? Proverbs 7 and 2. We gonna show you precept upon precept the understanding of the word of God. So the doctrine that we teach is God's. This is God's word. This is God's doctrine. This is the Lord's understanding. The proper understanding that we're supposed to be giving to our people. What is this doctrine that we are supposed to be giving to you that you should already know? Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 2. For I give you good doctrine. I give you what? Good doctrine. We giving you the good doctrine. We giving it to you, bro. Read. Forsake ye not my law. Forsake me not my what? My law. Root 4 and 1. It says forsake me not my law. Forsake me not my law. What do you think that means? To not forsake the law. Oh. You get live on Luke. Luke one and Luke one and six. I want to show you something. The commandments of God is for you. We as black men, we you have a choice. You got life and you have death. It's right. up to you. Right. It's up to you to go home and tell your wife, listen, as as for me and my house, as Joshua said. We gonna serve the Lord. Right, right, right. After me and my house, today is the Sabbath. Next Sabbath, you better not go out here and buy nothing. Right. My children will have food prepared prior to the Sabbath. These are the things that we gonna we gonna relate to you, brother. Just stick around. I guarantee you, you will walk away a changed man today. Read the Book of Luke, chapter one, verse six. And up. they were both righteous before God. Zacharias and his wife Elizabeth were both righteous before God. But how? You as a Christian, what is righteousness? They're not going to be able to answer you. Why? Because these Christian pastors who are set up, who have went to these theological schools, who have learned from the same oppressor that raped, robbed, and murdered our people, put us in slavery, put us in slave shacks, gave us a pint of water of day, and the slave shacks, we had malaria, we had tuberculosis, we had pneumonia, 
We gave birth in our own feces. Right. We ate dinner in our own feces. We didn't take baths until three, four, five days. This same man, you think is gonna teach you the word of God? Read, man. And, and they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. Blameless. This is the example that we are supposed to be following. Walking in the commandments of God. So, real quick, you say you knew about this. Right, let's 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 see. Let's see. Um, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because God has a chosen people, as we read earlier in Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. It said that my people are chosen. But let's see the same people, what will happen to them, man? Because like I said, you you learned in school about slavery, right? Did you know that that is in the Bible? We're going to show you that the, the Bible is not a white man's book. Right. You want to learn about your history? Come read the Bible. That's right. You want to know about your history about slavery? Come read the Bible. That's right. You want to know how to get the kingdom of God? Come read the Bible. Right. Sister with the blue shirt, your son needs to hear the word of God. That's right. The black men, the young black men in our community are falling. The young black men in the community need the word of God. Right. We need a healing for our young men. That's right. We need strong black men to lead our women, to right. lead our young children. Right. Right. We need your son. God is calling you. Right, right. Bring it out. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. I want you to come in real quick, bro. I need you to visualize this thing because God is about similitude and visualization. When he speaks his word, think of this in your head, what's going on? Because it's going to get very vivid real quick. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. We just read the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Right? Right? Okay, read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses are going to come upon the, the people of God. We're looking at him. I'm looking at a man of God. I'm looking at a man that is called to be chosen according right. to his word. Bring it up. God is calling you, bro. Are you going to answer the phone? Or are you going to look at it? You're going to send God the voicemail? Or are you going to say, God, I'm ready. I'm ready to serve you, Lord. I'm ready to change, God. I've, I've lived wrong all my life, 42 years. But today is my day to change. Right. I've been an adulterer. We got brothers here that used to sell rock, used to right. sell crack, used to gang bang, hit lips, finesse. You to sleep with many women, do all different type of lifestyles. Right. But God has called us. We did what? We changed. Right. Up. Now give me verse 68. Bring it out. Because now I want you to be vivid. I want, I want this to be very vivid to you and clear. Because we learned about this, but it, it went right over our heads. Because we didn't know it was in the Bible. Read verse 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Starting 48. Verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shall thou serve uh -huh. thine enemies. God said because we broke his laws, we're not going to serve our friends. We're going to serve our enemies. These are the enemies also of God. Right? Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst. You want to know why we went into slavery? Because God sent our enemies against us for our disobedience. Right. You read many captivities in the Bible because of the nation of Israel disobedience. But for some reason, we don't think that Deuteronomy 28 is speaking of us. Right? Read. And in nakedness. So we're going to serve God in hunger. We want food, we're going to go to our stores. Provided by who? Our enemies. Right. Right? Read. And in thirst. And we're going to serve our enemies in thirst. We're going to serve our enemies. You want to drink water? You got to go to the enemy. You want to get a house? And you want, you want a, a, um, a service of water provided to your house? Who you got to go to? Your enemy. Right. You want hunger? You want food? You got to go to your enemy. You want clothes? You got to go to your enemy. Read. And in nakedness. And in want of all things. In want of all things, we're going to serve our enemies. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Look at this sign, bro. Who is this in the earth that has ever had yokes of iron upon their neck? And it's more, there are many nations that had yokes of iron upon their neck. But guess what? God is distinct in his, in his prophecies. God is distinct in his prophecies. He's very specific 
to identify only his people. Everybody cannot, cannot identify with his history. Right. Now read verse 68. So I want you to visualize something. On the slave, on the slave ships, over 75 million. Approximate. That's an approximate number. That's an estimate. That's an estimate. 75 million slaves died in the water. Right. The sharks still swim the same path. Bro. They still searching for the blood of the sons of God. Right. They still seeking the thirst and the taste of the flesh of God. Right. Our flesh and blood is in the ocean. That's our bones, bro. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Bondage, you know how to get it? Bondage. Egypt is Greek for bondage. Captivity. Because we walked into Egypt the first time, right? We walked there. So why would God say we're going to go back into Egypt with this time what? Again, with ships. But this time we're going back into slavery with ships. We're not walking back into Egypt. God said, you want to disobey me? I got something. Your son keep doing the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. What you gonna do? You got something for him. I got something for you. You let it build up. That's what God did with us. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. God said, we're not gonna see our homeland again. Bring it up. We're not gonna see the land of Israel because that's our home. Right. This is not our home. This is not our rest. This is our captivity. We think we supposed to come here. We try. We try to get the next fly car. Put on some twin twos. I'm the American dream. Right. Bring it out. Miss Good Old Sarah. Damn, she look good. I, oh, think about it. The black man, he gets money. Who does he go get? Bring it out. What? He go gets Becky. He go gets uh, 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 Ling Ling. You understand that? Why is that? Because we don't understand that we were not brought here to sleep with the heathen. Right. Oh, That's right. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready for my brothers to repent. Right. I'm ready for my brothers to stand up for their people. Right. And change themselves. We don't. Bring it up. By the way, where up? I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. The Caribbean islands, we were sold unto the white man and our enemies. South America, we were sold to the white man and our enemies. Right. The North American continent, we were brought here and sold to our enemies in slavery. Right. Europe, Spain, we were brought and sold to our enemies on slave ships and yoke of iron. This is us. Nobody else can identify themselves. What other nation, I give you a million dollars right now. What other nation have been into slavery on cargo slave ships? Right. Had yokes of iron upon their neck. They don't know a damn thing about their history. Right. They don't know who their God is. Right. They're learning about God from their other nations. Right. They're serving a God that does not look like them, that hates them. Right. You serve the white man that hates your damn guts. Right. Right. He right. puts vaccines in your own blood and your babies so that they can walk around and be infested with diseases. See, and now uh, you got the Edomites running through our neighborhoods. Right Why you ain't trying to crack the hurt? Right. Why you ain't trying to shoot hurt? Why you ain't trying to rob her? Right. You ain't her whole self. She ain't safe right now. She ain't got no pistol. She ain't worried about the police. She ain't worried about being raped right now. Cause she know them niggas is, 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 is hateful of their own self. We are destroyed. The only time they be fearful is at nighttime. Cause they know at night, thieves come out. Hookers come out. That's when Satan moves. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We gonna be sold unto our enemies. The black man was sold into our enemies. That's right. How the hell do you fit 300 people in a room that has a capacity of 150? You got three packs on top of each other. You take a white man, they call it derby dose. You did something against derby. my master, derby dose. You know about that? Now what's derby dose? Mm, let's edify you. Let's edify the community. Derby. The derby dose, if you did something against your master, the master will have this slave. He said, okay, he just ate. What happens when you eat? You, you know, what happens? You gotta use the bathroom, right? You're gonna get down on this stool. We're gonna cup your mouth open. And we're gonna have that other slave defecate in your mouth. You gotta understand who we're dealing with. Right, right. We're in captivity under the so-called white man, which is the damn devil. That's right, right. The white man will take your pregnant wife, and he will cut over her womb. He will feed it to alligators. Right. How do you do this, man? What kind of man is this? 
vain, wicked, Satan. God said, you want to disobey me? You're going to see who the God of Israel is. That's right. You're going to see who the creator is. Mm. Think about that, bro. They never see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.